When it comes to Undertale, this was a game that I know I'm a little behind when it comes to talking about it, but at the time when the game first came out, I bought into the hype, everybody was praising it and really talking it up, and I decided I wanted to take a look at it and give it a fair shot. That being said, for some reason or other, I just could not get into it back then. I played it for just a short while on there, and I never picked it back up ever since. However, all through these years, it's always been on the back of my mind. The fandom, the lore, even though a lot of it was really annoying, uh, it just for some reason really intrigued me, and so I wanted to give it another shot. Recently, I picked up the game on the Nintendo Switch. Off of eBay, I got a physical copy, which, fantastic, that you could still get those, right? But that being said, I just wanted to give it another shot, and so I did a live stream of it, of course. And after that live stream, I just kept on playing. And I played some more, and some more. And I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on Undertale, and what I think about it. One of the most fascinating things that I've learned about Undertale is that the fan base loves to talk this game up. They love to tell people all about it, what you can do in this game. They like to talk to you about the characters and the story and just the themes of the game in general. And they do so in a way that it seemingly spoils the experience for anybody that isn't really familiar with Undertale and hasn't played it for themselves. But once you play it, you'll come to an understanding that you really can't have without playing and experiencing the game for yourself. I know it sounds really complicated, and it's just something that I really can't wrap around in words, but I did want to describe my experience with the game as opposed to what I thought it was before playing it. One of the most fascinating things about Undertale is the way that you make choices in the game. See, with most RPGs, they give you a ton of different choices, and these choices can have various impacts. They can impact your story, they can impact battles that you encounter, they can impact the way that you handle those battles, and so on. And yes, technically, Undertale does offer many of those same choices, but a lot of those choices really have very little, if any, importance to the game itself. As a matter of fact, there's only a few choices in Undertale that really matter, that really affect the experience that you're going to have with this game. That's because there are a few possible endings of this game, and depending on some of these choices that you make, will influence the ability to get certain endings, or may completely exclude certain endings. And even the fact that pursuing a certain ending can permanently change subsequent endings based on that outcome. It's really a lot to wrap your head around, and it's something that is handled very effectively in the face of RPGs that brag about billions of dialogue trees and millions of NPCs and all kinds of other things that, at the end of the day, really don't have a lot of relevance to the game experience itself. It's just really fascinating that depending on a few core choices that you make through the playthrough of your game will influence the way that you actually play the game. It's really interesting because in most RPGs, say something like Star Wars Knights of the Republic or Mass Effect, you know, Bioware Classics of course, those kinds of games have you play the game pretty much the same in spite of your choices. Now of course some of the outcomes and things like that will be different, but at the same time, whether you're a good guy or a bad guy, the game pretty much plays the same. It's just you're attacking different people and picking different dialogue choices. Is there really a difference in the experience? Not exactly. But Undertale offers a completely different experience. So it is one of the few RPGs that I've ever played that has multiple endings that actually encourages you to seek out these endings to see how the game plays out. When you play it differently, even if the sequence of many of the events that you encounter will still happen largely the same. But arguably the most captivating thing about Undertale is the characters themselves, the various characters that you encounter throughout the game. 
they all have a wonderful personality to them. They have a lot of depth and motivations that you don't really see in a lot of RPGs. And I think part of that is due to the fact that there really are not a lot of characters that you interact with. And so you really get a deep sense for the characters that you do interact with. Every character in this world has great significance and weight to them. They have a lot of importance, something that you don't find in a lot of RPGs. A lot of RPGs will have tons of NPC characters that really are not that relevant when you think about it. And Undertale completely excuses that and these characters, even some of the enemies that you encounter in combat, just ooze personality. They all have their own style, I guess you could say. Uh, but probably one of the most interesting characters of the game is the soundtrack. Yes, the soundtrack I consider a character in Undertale because the music is just so dynamic and rich. There is just a ton of great personality to this music and it really exudes the moods that I think the, they really want you to convey, although at the same time, there are some complexities to that. Listening to one piece of music may sound really dark and foreboding to somebody, but someone else might find a peaceful serenity with it, and it's just, I just love the soundtrack, uh, what can I say? And the graphics themselves are also their own character, because unlike most RPGs, there is a genuine dissonance with the graphics. There is a lot of different ideas clashing against each other. It's not like most RPGs, or video games for that matter, where they kind of rely on a sense of style. They rely on having cartoony graphics or realistic graphics, good graphics, bad graphics, all the gamuts possible when it comes to graphics. See, this game has a lot of interesting ways that it handles that. There are scenes that look really toned down, almost like NES games, and there's some scenes that have very beautiful and wondrous sights to see at the same time. The characters that you encounter all have their own unique look, not just in the way that they are, of course, not the way they're composed, but the way they're even animated and drawn on the screen, there is just a lot of unique sense to the graphics themselves. And like the music, they really convey a lot of moods. Even though the impact may not be as strong as the music, it's not something you can clearly hear, but it is still something that you really can feel whenever you're playing the game. And that's really all I want to say in regards to Undertale, because I don't want to spoil the experience for anybody. I just wanted to talk about my personal experience with this game. And your personal experience may vary greatly, but I think that it is something you certainly should pursue. If you have never played Undertale, it is a game that I highly recommend that you check out. I'm not even going to give it a review score, just because this is more of a discussion. I just wanted to kind of bring my thoughts about the game. It's a game that I'm still playing. I've only completed one playthrough so far, but I definitely want to see more. I want to experience more of this game, and I want to see everything that I can out of it. And also, of course, it wouldn't hurt to check out Deltarune, which is the newest game in this series. Uh, it's chapter one is actually free to play right now, but it's probably not recommended if you never played Undertale, just because you may not understand various things within the game. So if you happen to get a chance to play Undertale, definitely do so. And then of course, after you get a couple of playthroughs in, maybe consider checking out Deltarune. But let me know what you guys think. I wanna hear about your personal experiences with Undertale. If you can, of course, try to keep it spoiler free. I know the game's been out for three years, but a lot of people still have not experienced this game. And I think that doing so without spoilers will give them the purest possible experience. But anyways, that's all I've got time for. With that, down Phoenix out.